Hello everybody in reading class. Welcome to another edition of No More Dead Dogs. We're going to read the next four pages. So please take out your novel. Um, I heard some of you don't have it. Don't panic. You can always uh, try Bookshare. Um, or you can just contact the school and say, hey, can we come by and pick up our book? Um, I did put your books, um, not all of them are like this. Some of them are, are yellow with the German Shepherd on the front because old Shep, my pal, is a German Shepherd. Um, and uh, for those of you who are just watching this video because you happen to be on the channel, um, don't worry. There's no dogs in this book and none of them are dead. Okay, so uh, we are reading the next four pages. Remember, as I finish, good morning, birdies. I'm recording this a little early, so the birds are just waking up to the sunrise there. Um, that's Twitter and Grinder. Um, I don't know if you can hear them, but my birds were just singing now. Whenever they see me, they start singing. Okay, so, um, are remember that after I read a page, after you read with me, um, you're going to uh, answer a question or two about the page to you know clarify that you understand what's going on, and then those birds, and then um, you're going to write a sentence no longer than twenty words that summarize the what mostly happened on the page. Then I want you to categorize that statement. Is it about setting, character development? Is it about, um, uh, uh, is it just a plot event? You know, something happening. Is it building action? Do you feel like this is leading to a bigger event? Or is it about a theme? I think yesterday I had mentioned a uh, um, conflict, but I don't think I gave you that choice yet. Okay, so this is, I'm starting to read on page 21. Um, that if you're using the yellow copy, that'll be slightly varied. I'm writing at this or reading at the scene where Wallace and Mr. Fogelman at the first in his encounter with the drama club um, is arguing with Mr. Fogelman about how the book is not any good. Okay, so um, so again, Wallace while they were doing a dry reading of the a stage reading of the play, Wallace was writing his book review um, and he's defending it uh, to Mr. Fogelman because it was negative. Um, and so actually I'll start a little bit on page 20 just to kind of set the scene. It proves I read the book, Wallace pointed out. You read the words, but not the meaning, Mr. Fogelman insisted passionately. The rich themes, the wonderful characters. I hated the characters, Mr. Fogelman. You'd better be careful, warned the director. He indicated the cast, us, sweeping his hand. I'll have you know you're talking to Corey, Lorelei, Maury, and Tori right here. I'm Tori, Trudy piped up. Awesome touchdown last year. Is it? Is that a real giant's windbreaker? I've never seen one of these up close before. She stuck her elbow in my face and reached over to brush his arm. Oh, nice material. Nathan rolled his eyes. Give me a break. Wallace looked earnestly around the circle. I've got nothing against you guys. I just didn't like the book, okay? He stood up. Well, thanks for uh, having me. Oh, you'll be seeing us all again, announced Mr. Fogelman. On Monday, right after school. You could almost see the stubborn shriek rise out of the creep spine. Remember, this is being told from Rachel's point of view. Straighten his neck and come forward to stiffen his jaw. I've got football practice. The teacher shook his head. Not anymore. Not until you complete the work I assigned you. But Mr. Fogelman, Trudy piped up, Wallace is really important to the Giants. You know, last year, I know all about last year. The director cut her off. Okay, so stop this video now. Answer the questions. 
categorize, summarize the page and categorize the, uh, the summary according to what the element of narrative. And then turn the video back on. Oh, wait. Well, let me fix my hair. Is the video back on? Okay, great. All right, so now I'm going to read page 22. He looked at his watch. I guess that's kind of rude. He looked at his watch. We'll meet back here on Monday. That includes you, Wallace. Hey, Rach. I wheeled. My brother, Dylan, was running toward me, running toward Trudy and me. Careful, I cried as he raced across Bedford Avenue without a glance to the left or right, part fearless, part stupid. He was short for a ten-year-old, so his enormous book bag nearly dra very nearly dragged along the pavement as he panted up. Didn't anybody ever teach you to look both ways before you cross the street? I snapped. Not in middle school, Dylan gasped, catching his breath. It was the biggest thrill of his life that the fifth graders had been moved out of Bedford's three elementaries so that he could go to the same school as his older sister. How's it going, D-man? grinned Trudy. Never mind that, Dylan exclaimed as if he had no time for small talk. The guy you just walked out of the gym with, wasn't that Wallace Wallace? Yeah, so what? The Wallace Wallace? The football player? Okay, that's the end of page 22. Go ahead, answer the questions, and then write a brief summary about what happened on this page. Here's a hint. Who did we meet? And then um, categorize that summary according to the element of narrative. I'll wait. Just turn off the video. Are you back yet? Okay. Page 23. And uh, this is uh, Rachel talking. No, one of the other 95 guys named Wallace Wallace is in, in this town. I said sarcastically. What's the big deal? Well, what, what did you say to him? Trudy glared at me. Tell him, Rachel, you got the poor guy in trouble with Mr. Fogelman. At least I didn't kiss up to him like you did, I snorted. Trudy shrugged. He's so cool. Warning sign number three, I intoned. I can't believe you know him, Dylan enthused. He's practically in the NFL. Know him? Trudy repeated. D-man, your sister and I were hooked up. Actresses always hang out with the in crowd. Actresses? I hope she wasn't talking about herself. Wow, breathed Dylan. Remember the big touchdown last year. Don't you think it's time we all found something else to think about? I suggested. For instance, do you know that do you know what the school play is going to be this semester? But Dylan was already running down the sidewalk, backpack, backpack bouncing with each step. Hey, Mark, guess who my sister's best friend's with? <laughs> okay, you know what to do. Answer the questions, give me a summary, and categorize it. Was this a plot event? Was it character development? Setting? Theme or building action? You can turn off the video and just turn it back on in a second. Are you back yet? Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's just do three pages. Why? Because the next chapter will be Enter Wallace Wallace. So this is the second time we're going to be reading this novel from the point of view of Wallace, but that will be on Friday. And you know what Friday is? No paperwork Friday. <laughs> well, in this case, you will have paperwork because you'll have to answer some questions just to confirm that you understand what's going on. Sorry, people. Okay, you have a nice afternoon. Um, 
don't just do schoolwork. Do something fun. Um, if the weather improves, get outside. I plan on going bike riding. See you later.